Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We are doing a not too shabby design team project. Coupon code Mary10 for 10% off your order over at the shop. So I am playing with this Honey Bee stamp set. It is so cute. <laughs> this is a platypus. I don't think I've ever seen a platypus until now. So I am going to, I had to Google it by the way, we'll get into that. Um, I'm gonna pull out this stamp set. It's large, it's got beautiful images in it. You can use it for any occasion. Uh, coffee cups, presents, balloons, graduation. It's just, it's the whole gamut. You got it all. So I decided to make a get well card for my friend, Corin. Uh, Corin Wiskman, you may know her. She has a YouTube channel. And she is my friend and had surgery recently. And so I wanted to send her a cute little pick me up card. And so I opted for this little guy. He's going to help us out. So I am going to stamp him out and then I am going to put him on my brother scan and cut mat because I don't want to fussy cut that, nor do I have a die. So we're going to make this work for us. As you can see from my recent videos, I am using the scan and cut all the time. <laughs> so it is really great. So I'm going to pull my guys off here very carefully. I did use some alcohol friendly um, ink so that I can use my alcohol markers for him. And uh, we're going to get to color in here in just a minute. Don't forget to put your plastic cover right back over your mat so that you don't, um, you can try to uh, extend the life of the stickiness. So, okay, we are going to get to coloring. But since I cut him out first, because I didn't want to color him and then screw up somehow on my scan and cut, I'm going to put some post-it low-tack tape on the back of him, and then I'm just going to place him down on my mat. Very good. He stays. He doesn't move at all, in fact. So I thought that was super helpful to do. Okay, pulling out my master marker color chart here. We are going to get to coloring. For large images, I like these markers. These are very juicy markers. They're brush tip and they're very easy to use. I have an array of colors, pretty much every color combination I could ever dream of because I got both sets of the master markers. And I really, like I said, for large images, these are super helpful. So I'm gonna go through and I am going to um, just color this up. So as I'm coloring, you can kind of see what I'm doing and which colors I'm using. Um, I get asked a lot how Corin and I met, so I thought I would just take a minute to tell you guys how we met. Um, I was moving up from Florida and um, moving to Maryland, and I had to see if there was any craft stores around where I was about to move. So I did a Google search, and her video came up. I guess she was going there for an event a year, probably now, it's probably two years ago, um, with Kathy Rakusen at the Queen's Inc. in Savage, Maryland, and she kind of vlogged it. And so I'm so grateful that she vlogged it because I watched it. And then as I'm watching it, I commented on her video and she being the responsive, engaged YouTuber that she is, responded back to me. And so we struck up a conversation. And so I think her first response to me was, yay, you're moving here, a crafty friend. <laughs> so very, very engaging, very welcoming. And she was awesome. In fact, she was pretty much like our first welcome to Maryland, which I think was just really sweet. So, um, and I don't mean physically, I just mean as we got here, just being helpful with the area and just all those things. So it was just really nice of her. And then we met and we went out for lunch at the Queen's Inc. Um, they have like a little place you can go over there and eat. And um, we shopped and we talked. And I think that first meeting we talked for about three hours. And so from that, we just became friends. So... That's the story of how Corin and I met. <laughs> so if you were curious. Um, okay, so let's get back to the coloring here. We have um, just pulled out some more of the tans and browns and really nothing too exciting here. I had to Google platypus. I had no idea what they look like. They could have been purple for all I knew. So I tried to mimic a realistic one and this is what I came up with. I am going to take my retractable blade knife here and I am going to cut a slit right underneath that little guy's arm because I wanted to put the band-aid over the heart um, because I didn't really, I didn't want to put it on the head because she didn't have surgery on her head. <laughs> so I was trying to make it so that the little band-aid was resembling 
her. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull out a stencil now because I've got my guy colored and we're going to put those aside. Working from a stencil, I am going to choose this Kindred Stamps one because I love the bubbles. They're just super fun. So we are going to um, get that ready to go. I'm going to put a little bit of this Tombow Mono on the back. I hear that it makes it tacky. Uh, Kelly Latavola does this, so I wanted to give it a go. And sure enough, it works. I know Pixie Dust is the newest thing, so I'll have to try that out. Here I have all of my Catherine Puller inks. Um, they are stamped out, and that's my little chart I made. And now I'm going to use a couple of those blues and greens to make my background here. So I'm using um, All That Jazz, It's a Boy, and Fiesta Blue, I want to say. I think the, I don't think I use It's a Boy. Yeah, I do. Here's It's a Boy. And so I'm trying to do almost like an ombre look from the bottom to the top. That's what I'm going for. So I come back in with a little bit um, of a darker one too to kind of add to the bottom of that. This one is called... Um, Blue suede, or suede shoes. <laughs> oh, I get it. That's where she got the name. Blue suede shoes. That just hit me this second. Okay, so I am going to finish up my coloring. And then we're going to do our big reveal. So look at that. Oh, I love that background. It's so fun. Okay, so I get that done. I'm going to put that stencil off to the side. And then I'm going to start assembling my card. So first I'm going to use some liquid adhesive over the band-aid, put that right next to my little platypus there, so we're good there. And I realized it was kind of blank, but I wanted to make a big statement on this card. So I'm gonna pull out my Darcy's Get Well stamp set. And I'm gonna take the pill bottle and stamp that out a few times. And I just use some very similar colors that I used on the band-aid. So it was nothing new here, and I wanted to make it look sort of like a pill bottle. So I'm going to be using my Memento ink again and stamping those out. And I stamped them multiple times just in case I made a mistake. I was not intending to put all of these pill bottles on the actual card. But then I was like, they're so cute. I have to use them all. So that's what I did. So I'm going to trim this down just a little bit so that I'll have a border behind my card panel. And... Um, I'm just using my little trimmer here. I did just purchase the tonic one because um, this one's getting kind of rickety and I used the tonic one over at Courtney Krieber's house recently and I was like, oh, okay then. <laughs> I'm going to buy that one. It cuts super well. So if you're looking for a trimmer, I, I have the large tonic, which I love for cutting stuff, my card bases mostly, and then a smaller one. Oh, it's great. So um, anyway, okay, I'll link both just in case, but that's coming in the mail in the next couple days. So here I'm assembling my pill bottles and I realized I needed all three on my card because it's just, it's just awesome. And so we're gonna do that and pop, I think I popped this one up right in the front. Oh, I put it onto the platypus first and then popped up all of that image. So the pill bo bottle and the platypus together. So I'm gonna be using some of my Burtek foam tape here. And then I'm going to be placing that down. This way I have a little bit of dimension on my card um, with the other pill bottles in the background. And um, yeah, so just loving the way this card is coming together. I don't usually do super big, bold statements on the card. And I think we need to do more of that because it was really fun. So I'm going to take a black Sakura gel pen and just dot the eyes just to make those a little bit darker. And then some Nouveau Glaze. This is the Crystal Glaze, almost like a glossy accent. So anything you have that's similar. And I'm going to make the tops of my pill bottles uh, nice and shiny. And then also the center portion of my Band-Aid is going to be shiny as well. Just to add a little bit more of that embellishment. And that will do it for the card. So thank you so much for stopping by. Go check out this stamp set. It's adorable. I am loving it. And I'm going to be using it multiple times because it's so diverse. So thank you so much again for stopping by. I'll list what I used in the description box below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't. I'd love you to hang out with me. And I, you know I love talking to you in the comment section. So comment below and we'll finish the conversation down there. Until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.